Tyrone, are you ready to get a little romantic? <laughs> sure. Uh, I mean, as a cancer, I thought you would be excited to. Who says that? <laughs> That's none of it's true. It's true. You guys are always in your pee pee. They just make that up because you know I ain't never hardly in my feed. Mm, okay. Well, we're going to talk about it anyway. We're going to talk about a new movie called She Taught Love on Hulu. Yes. 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 So She Taught Love is written by Daryl Britt Gibson and also starred by, starred in, how you say it? Star. Starring. <laughs> <laughs> also starring. Daryl also Britt starring. Gibson. Him. Him. Daryl Britt Gibson. So he wrote the film and then is also starring in it. He plays a character named Frank who has a love interest that goes by the name of Molly. And she is played by Arsima Thomas. Spoiler alert. Let's watch the trailer. When I was little, I wanted to be an astrophysicist. I don't even know what that is. It's the study of the universe. I'm thinking about you nonstop. Crazy about you. All right, y'all just seen the trailer and T Ron's over here laughing. Why are you laughing? I'm not, I'm just laughing. At, it's just me. Okay. Romance makes you laugh? No. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't feel a thing. All right, so you didn't feel a thing. I felt a little something when I watched this. How about you? Did it make your heart like flutter a little bit? Mm -mm. Wow. It, I'll be honest. Okay. As you always are. I'll be honest. Okay. The movie, what's another word for it? slow, you know? Okay. Yeah. It, <laughs> okay. you know, if you run in a race at a snail's pace, okay. this is that. You know, I have to agree with you on that. The movie was slow. I, there were points in it and I was like, okay, we can move this forward. We can move this, we can move this up a little bit. And interestingly enough, this, the movie itself was slow to me. But the time frame of her getting sick, like the how quick everything happened, was really fast. Yeah. 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 I was like, okay. Here, here's here's what the like I said, spoiler alert. the The film it follows these two young black people who are you know trying to do their thing in their profession. Uh, not young, but go ahead. Relatively. Thirties. Well, that's young. And um. <laughs> but when you say young, I think people think twenties. Yeah. So these I don't mean 30s. that. I don't mean that. Yeah, they're they're in their thirties. Um but, but one's an one he's trying to be an actor. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And the other is a sports a sports agent. A sports agent. Which really has nothing to do with nothing. She could have been any job in this movie. She could have been a, a male lady. <laughs> she could have cashier. She could have been a Worked at Amazon. She could have worked at Amazon. She could have been a dental hygienist. Her job had nothing to do with the story. They just wanted her to. Yeah, I get it. Like, we want to show, like, black women doing, you know, cool job. But some people are. Some people are dental hygienists. Yeah. Grocery baggers. And there's nothing wrong with that. So that bothered me a little bit. I was like, I get what y'all are trying to do. But we spent so much time at her workplace talking about she's met with the client, that whole thing. It was irrelevant. Irrelevant. It, because why are y'all gonna spend a lot of time on that when cause see, I'm I'm watching a movie like this. Looking at you know how you watch a movie, but you doing that's how I'm watching it. Okay. I'm waiting for something to catch me so I can just <laughs> Is that the movie or is that a you thing? The movie never got me like that. Okay. Uh <laughs> They spent a lot of time with on her at work, but then I looked up at one point and I said, uh, they're talking about him meeting her parents or something. And I was like, well, when did this happen? <laughs> and then they, came, they was over each other's house. And then next thing I knew, it was as if they were living together. And I said, well, how much time has passed? And then I said, okay, in the film, he meets a young lady that he thinks is fine. And she, she's really beautiful. But he meets a young lady that he, that he thinks is fine. He finally, he sees her all the time, but he finally, you know, gets to get with her. He learns because through them, run, you know, chatting and hanging, that she actually has cancer, right? And so I was like, at that point, I, my ears perked up. I said, oh, 
okay, so this is going to be unique. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I thought they were going to play up the area where it was like a sense of urgency and that if she was going to be in this relationship, there was going to be like factors, maybe them going through just, you know, the dating aspect mm -hmm. and her being like, we ain't got to do all that. Mm -hmm. Come on. But they seem to just skip over parts or maybe that's the only parts that I remember. Because nothing. <laughs> well, I think what this movie does is it focuses on when the relationship is blossoming. Right? Mm -hmm. It focuses on kind of the honeymoon phase of the relationship to which her, this in her mind, this is going to be the relationship because she has cancer and she, you know, is going to be dying soon. So she treats this like, you know, every day is the last kind of deal. And so I think that's why they went with this, like, the quick timing of the relationship because they're trying to just show like the yeah. beginning of it. I think for me where I got lost is there is a scene where Frank, our main um, man character, male actor, um, he, you know, he's recognized by a, I wouldn't say a fan, but someone who knew him from a show. He's on the street and they ask him for an autograph. He's very uh, Kanye about it. Quite rude. <laughs> <laughs> the nerd. Yeah, like I felt like, you know, he it, not an autograph. Oh, I'm dating myself. The guy asked for a picture, <laughs> not an autograph. Um, and he was quite rude to him. And instead of just saying, like, no, nah, I don't want to take pictures right now, you know, he was he was rude. Um, then he ended up getting jumped, not saying that he deserved that. He didn't, but you know, that's what happened. Um, so he goes to the hospital, the whole thing, goes to the ER, he ends up in a cast. And then <laughs> he's in a cast. I don't even think you realize what you did there. What? You said he goes to the hospital and he ends up in a cast. <laughs> you know when you get a break of bone? Yeah. They put your leg in a cast. Yeah. That's the joke. He went to the hospital uh -huh. and then he ends up in a cast. However, you're saying he eventually ends up in a cast for a role. No, I meant the cast on his arm. Oh. <laughs> I missed that part. I missed the blue cast on his arm. Oh, my Lord. I thought, hey. Okay, I see what you did there, but I was talking about the cast. Oh, I zoned out. I, I thought he got a job. No. I thought he got an acting job. No. Well, he does later. But I, but, but I remember he had a bandage on his head, but he had a cast. He had a cast on his arm. And I'm going to tell you. They the beat timing. the brakes off of him. Yes, I'm going to tell you why the timing messed me up. It was because he had the cast on his arm. And then at one point, she, he shows up. They, they have a falling out. He shows up at her house. She got braids. And then she was like, well, I got braids because I want to get braids before my hair falls out. Ladies, we, got, we get that. We understand yeah. that. And then, like, the next scene, she was taking her wig off, and she didn't have hair. But he still had that cast on. So I was like, well, what is the time? Yeah, the time frame. The timeline was messed up, <laughs> obviously, because I missed the whole part. But then I want to say when she went, he ended up taking her to the hospital because, you know, she had gotten really, really sick. He still had the cast on. And I was like, they beat so, the <laughs> what is the time frame? They, be, they beat, the, the people who jumped him, beat him down. Remember, remember that guy that ran up on stage during the Dave Chappelle thing? Yeah. And they, uh, they jumped him. Yes. And, then, and they had a photo of him on the ambulance and his arm was twisted like, back like a chicken wing because they broke it. I'm going to find a photo of it for you. Put it up in this video. <laughs> that's, that's what they must have He must have been that guy. Yeah, he I mean, was. he was rude. He was rude. But, or... <sighs> well, okay. Let's, let's bring it back. What did you think about the performances of the main actors, main characters? The performances were fine. Yeah. Uh, like, there was, no, there was no issue there. The pacing of the film itself was just a bit slow. Yeah. But then also, I think... Because when I saw the trailer and I heard about the movie and everything, mm -hmm. I wanted it to be grand. Um, In what way? A la, a la, what's that movie that came out a few years back? Slim and... Queen and Slim. Queen and Slim. I, in that kind of okay. flavor okay. of like, I, you know, some black love, a unique story, and, you know, told in a unique way, whatever. And I think this movie wanted to be a bit campy and kind of like get you in your feelings in a little bit, but it didn't do it for me because it was, I kept zoning out. Okay. 
all right, that's fair. Uh, the retention was not. <laughs> I, I do think that the movie itself was visually very pretty, very nice to look at. I think, obviously, our characters are gorgeous to look at. I thought that the shots of L.A. were really cool. I felt like we were seeing different shots than we normally see, like um, less of like the L.A. glitz and glamour of it all, but more like where people live, how they live. So I appreciated that. There were some scenes that I felt were dark, like visually dark. I thought that too. Thought that too. I was like, it's a little dark. Where, why can't we see? So I was like, okay, I get they're trying to like, you know, set the mood, but some of the scenes were dark. Um, I think I'm ready to go ahead with my rating. Go ahead. All right, so for me, I enjoyed watching a romance film. Um, we don't see a lot of these all the time. I mean, I feel like it's like rom com or it's like. I don't know, somebody being mad at the man or women hating me. Like, this was nice. This was a nice change of pace um, from what we've been seeing lately, from the things that you and I have been watching lately, yeah. I should say. Um, for me, I felt like I'm watching it and I'm like, I feel like this is like a 2024 Love Jones a little bit. No, you know, I never liked Love Jones. See, that's one of my favorite movies, actually. I've, I've always thought Love Jones was overrated. Well, here we are. So also, also, love and basketball is overrated. Here we are. Uh, well, <laughs> I felt like this was kind of like a 2024 uh, love zone. So if you are maybe like a little bit younger and you you you're like in that zone of like you know young love romance kind of deal, this is for you. Um, I I enjoyed it. I had fun with it. I would watch it again, and I would recommend it for others. Um, like I said, there were some things about the pacing and the timing that I was like. Y'all, what are we doing? But overall, I had a good time. I'd watch it again. So for me, it is going to be a Jennifer Lewis. For me, you said you would watch it again. Yeah, absolutely. Apparently, I have to watch it again because I missed a whole... <laughs> so, you know, from what I collected... <laughs> okay. <laughs> From the things that I did see. Okay. Mm -hmm. From the story that I did, uh, you know, receive. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I'm going to have to give it a Kevin Hart. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> you want to elaborate? Or? No, like not too, not too much. I, I just, I just think that the, um, I think that with having that set up, mm -hmm. you meet a girl that. You know, you've been trying to get at for a while, and then when you finally meet her, you learn that she has a terminal illness. Great setup. Yeah, great. If you want to play up the sense of urgency, then you could do so. You could show that in, like, impulsive decisions. Um, you could show that in, like, you know, just rushing to do... Like, there's ways you can get that point across that would have made the story a bit more perky. I think that they want to... The, the movie came off a bit mellow it was very mellow yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and if you're in the mood for that kind of thing then it's fine but if if you're trying to get you know like a, as i'm sitting to here with you right now i couldn't and i just watched it i can't quote anything to you or give you like this is my favorite part i can't do that right now let's I watch can't. it again let's open your heart and watch it again. open my heart open your heart let's but now it's a kevin hart Oh, you see what you did there? Closed heart, though. Kevin Hart. Mm. <laughs> mm. Um, but we need more black love. I agree. We do. We do. You but do. just speed up the pace because I got things to do. <sighs> Thanks for watching, y'all. <laughs> Not pick up the pace because I.